Ladies and gentlemen, Draft League is back, and I got a really, really good replay for you. Check this out. We're going to go through this match of my first week of the new Draft League today. But first, we're going to take a look at the team that made this game possible. So, these are just a few of the Pokemon I've drafted. A few of them I decided not to bring. Uh, for example, there's an Umbreon and a Dragonite that I have yet to bring. But, you know, it's just week one, and we got to throw some mix-ups. So... What we bring? We brought sort of a Spikes, Iron Defense, Body Press, U-Turn, Mew. I wasn't sure if I was going to want the Spikes and the Defensive Pivot more this match, or if I wanted to sweep my opponent with an Iron Defense Body Press set. Something I'm a little ashamed to admit is I drafted this thing not knowing that Mew lost access to recovery moves in Generation 9, so I was not able to use Soft Boiled or Recover. Now moving on to Screen Tail, standard Light Clay set, right? We got Reflect, Light Scream, Dazzling Gleam, and Encore. Why? Uh, to set up Pokemon underneath it, obviously. On my team is both Volcarona and Zoroark Hisui. And obviously both of them want to click Quiver Dance and they want to click Nasty Plot. And my screens are there to enable that and make it easier. Screens are honestly just the go-to uh, easy, simple strategy that just works in Draft League. If you're struggling to win in drafts, try Light, light Screens and Reflect Screens. They make everything easier. Uh, so, we're planning on using Zoroark's Illusion to pretend to be a Volcarona. We're going to use the Flamethrower to maybe try and stretch that a little longer uh, and hope our opponent doesn't pick up on it. This league does have item claws, so you'll see that every item is unique here. I can't do, like, duplicate heavy-duty boots, which makes faking Zoroark a little bit harder. Uh, as well as a Ditto for more transforming and confusing. And Rocky Helmet Donphan, who actually put in a ton of work this week. So, the question you are all wondering is, did the Zoroark slash Volcarona illusion work out well? Let's find out. Turn one, we get Mew versus Rotom Wash, and what our opponent does is he ends up tricking me a Choice Scarf, leaving Mew a bit neutered, but I didn't really lose momentum as I had already decided to pivot out, kind of expecting either a Trick or a Volt Switch from my opponent. I go back into Scream Tail, and I think, you know, my opponent, I've seen him before do the double trick thing before, so I was like, maybe I'll just get my leftovers back if I go in. But instead, I get punished. I get Thunder Wave. The Synchronize doesn't give him the paralysis because he's an electric type. He goes into the Braviary. He decides to get rid of those spikes with the Defog so I'm not punished for going into my Don Fan, who is Rocky Helmet, and gives some chip to the Braviary. I see this as a free knockoff coming my way, and I manage to get an item off the Rotom. Knowing that Rotom is going to want to try and pick up an item, I go back into Mew, right, expecting the trick coming once again, and this time I'm able to pick my leftovers back up. And, uh, or no, wait, no, he just, all right, excuse me, I knocked off his leftovers, he wants my Choice Scarf back, and I give it to him. I say, I don't want it. I want to be able to click Iron Defense, I want to be able to click Body Press, so he takes the Choice Scarf. I go into Scream Tail, start setting up screens again. And what do we do here? Do I end up doing some Dazzling Gleaming? No, I go into Don Fan to give some more Rocky Helmet Chip as my opponent calls this move, does a Roost, gets some health back. Very good decision. U-turns, gets Chip down again, and goes into Sylveon as I get the rocks up. Now, this is where it starts looking bad for me. I think my opponent has a real advantage in this situation. I'm not sure how to deal with the Calm Mind Sylveon, and the way I figure, I'm just going to let him boost. I have a Ditto in the back. If you want to boost those stats, go ahead. I'll just copy them. So I go into Scream Tail, and I'm like, okay, if he clicks if he clicks Calm Mind, I'm going to Encore that. And he's going to be trapped, and that's going to give me an opportunity to get back in the game. Instead, he decides to just start going on the offensive. I make sure my light screen is up. I make sure he's going to keep hyper-voicing me, so I get a safe sack into Volcarona. And what does Volcarona do? He scares off the Sylveon as he goes Rotom, and I feel Nasty Plot. Not Quiver Dance? Oh, no, it can't be. A Zoroark? Who could have seen this coming? That's right, so Zoroark has the Flamethrower. I use Flamethrower to try and, uh, you know, keep the illusion that it's actually a Volcarona alive even longer. But, uh, you know, obviously he breaks my illusion and he figures it out quite quickly. Now, this is the turn where I believe my opponent truly uh, threw the game. Let me, let me back this up for you. So he Hydro Pumps, gets the illusion, the Flamethrower KOs the Rotom, right? This is the turn where he throws. On this turn, I click Flamethrower. It doesn't kill Braviary. He can kill me with Brave Bird, but instead he ends up defogging and not taking his damage as he goes into the Sylveon, 
who takes 48% from Flamethrower. He goes for the Protect. I'm using Shadow Ball, and we all know that's going to do more damage because it's same type attack bonus, and the Sylveon goes down. Now, I'm stuck with a decision here. I am a Terra Fighting Zoroark, and what I do here is select Brick Break. And I just, I wasn't sure if the Terra Fighting was going to be enough to boost that damage to KO the Tyranitar. So I, I decided not to do it and, and save my Terra Typing for my next plan of attack. So he ends up Rock Blasting me as I go into my Volcarona. Very weak to Rock Blast, which he just revealed. So I Terra Grass so that um, I'm no longer weak to it and I'm able to get my Quiver Dance off. As my opponent here gets rid of their... Uh, bug weakness by going and Terra Rocking, but that just makes them still weak to Giga Drain. I Terra Grass, I spam Giga Drain, and do I win the game? Am I able to sweep here? Obviously this Giga Drain's gonna kill the Braviary, we know it's not Scarf based off of how it was acting earlier in the match. I believe the Ursaluna comes out here and it's able to just get Giga Drained as well. Get Goob, you lose, out comes Annihilate. Now Annihilate is actually able to do some work, so Flamethrower here doesn't KO. Drain Punch does a good chunk of damage, gives some healing back, but the Flame Body triggers and Annihilate actually gets burnt. Now we do another 48% as the Annihilate reveals it's a Chesto Resto set. That's right. He clicks Rest, the Chesto Berry immediately heals it, and it's swinging again. And it goes for a Rage Fist, which ends up critting, allowing him to kill the Volcarona, but once again he gets burned. So a lot of RNG going on in that turn. I bring out my Rock Helmet user to threaten the Annihilate as he goes for another Rest. And on that turn, my Earthquake does 54%. I'm able to follow it up with another Earthquake as he's out of Chesto Berries. And that's the game. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Draft League replay caps in the future. Thank you guys. Have a good one.